hey guys you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time of coming across my channel hello i'm a fresh or my fresh feel free to be part of this family by hitting the subscription button to my returning subscribers thank you for always being part of this amazing family in this video i'm going to be showing you how to ventilate how to ventilate a full list and i'm going to be giving you the step-by-step -step method on how you can achieve a neat and nice ventilation i'm also going to be giving you the best pattern to use in order to achieve a neat ventilation if you want to learn how to ventilate whatever you want to ventilate then this video will be helpful to portion okay guys so this is how your full length should be on your manicure head the elastic band should be inside while the one you are seeing should be outside if you are seeing this for the first time i've actually started this off camera but i'm going to show you what i did the first thing is to ventilate the line because when you get a full length there is a line that is showing you this where you are starting so ventilate that place first to a reasonable length that you want to stop even when you stop also continue to ventilate from there like what i mean is that even when you stop and decided to continue just know that you should ventilate that line first before you ventilate the inside this gives it a very nice look from the outside when you close it up it gives it a very nice look now after i'm done this is the place i decided to stop first i'm going to ventilate the inside and i'm going to show you how i ventilate my inside net now i'm doing a single line ventilation i've said this before the single line ventilation is when you ventilate you skip a whole nest when you're ventilated or you don't skip line this is what i do at the front there's also a method they call one line one hole. I also do this one line one hole as I approach further. But doing this one line one hole, there is always a difference. So I'm always ventilating this from a corner. Like a corner that if you ventilate this one line one hole from the front, it's going to give you a different method even though you are doing the same thing so this is the best part that i follow which is a diagonal method and i'm going to do this diagonal part i'm ventilating or diagonal part but sometimes i will decide to ventilate another line but whichever way all of them is going to be diagonal method of ventilation now if you are seeing this ventilation for the first time i have so many videos i've done on this i'm trying as much as possible to make this video very fast for you to grab everything but i'm going to show you the pattern because not only ventilating this diagonal part you should also know that there's a pattern to this that is going to give you in between ventilation so when i'm doing the one line one whole ventilation i'm following different pattern i'm following different dimension but in all dimension i'm doing a diagonal ventilation so keep watching to see how i'm doing this ventilation you know sometimes people call this single line ventilation one line no hole or one line one whole ventilation i don't know whichever way you choose to call it it's the best method to give you in between ventilation you can actually achieve that one line no hole using this method now this is the center part of this ventilation and i'm going to continue this way and this thick part i'm also going to ventilate it the way we are doing the ventilation ventilate or one line one hole or one line no hole ventilation 
for the method that i'm using in this tutorial i'm using a single knot in ventilation and i'm ventilating skip one hole ventilate the other one if you are seeing ventilation for the first time if you are just seeing how to ventilate for the first time I think if you want to ventilate fast um, what I do what I normally do is to ventilate half and half I don't just ventilate straight I ventilate then follow the line then ventilate the other one it's going to give you something like this like a zigzag something so this is how I ventilate to enable me ventilate fast and to give me that zip. so i'm giving you tips on how to ventilate fast this is one of the things that helps me to ventilate fast i'm going to be doing this all through till i approach the final ventilation now this is the back part and i'm also doing this method to close up the back of this ventilation So guys, I'm done with the whole ventilation except the thick line that you are seeing under. I've not actually done that one. And I'm going to pick this randomly. I'm not going to pick one line, one hole, or one line, no hole. But whichever way, I'm going to do it in such a way that it will be very tiny. The random ventilation should also look tiny and look neat like this now. So I'm done with the whole ventilation. I'm done with everything. This is how it looks like from the inside. It looks in between. This is the front part and this is how it looks like. So I don't know what you think about this. This is the center, the center, the back everything looks the same i don't know what you think about this method of ventilation this pattern drop your comments in the comment section and tell me what you think about this method if you found this video helpful give me a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel subscribe to be part of this pattern now this is how the back looks like it looks so neat I hope this video was very helpful for you. So guys, see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.